uh, we're going to be um, talking about, we're going to finish chapter 3, and then we're going to start chapter 4. So the last section of chapter 3 is going to be the transaction that affect revenue, expense, and withdrawals by the owner. So I have an owner of a company that is involved in withdrawing, and he's involved in expenses, and the revenue is also involved in his, in his business. So what's revenue? What's expense? So revenue is, you know, uh, how much he sells, for example, or how much he earns, uh, but not as a final amount. So it's not his net profit. I mean, there's we need to distinguish between revenue and uh, and profit. Uh, revenue is not a profit, okay? Because uh, revenue still need, I need to take something out of it to to get to the profit, okay? So expense one of the things that I'm going to be taken out. Um, now uh, here they mentioned something called withdraw. Withdraw is when when a comp when an owner of a company withdraws money. That's a personal use. It's, it's usually we, we use the word withdraw for a personal use. Let's say, for example, the, the owner decided to buy a, a car for himself for the weekend, not for a business. So we, we consider that he, he withdrew money to buy the car. So it's not is, is the car is going to be used for a business? No, that means it's not part of the business. So it has a different. So when you say when we say that, that means we're doing this for an actual tax purposes. OK, tax tax people. They ask you about those kind of questions. Are you using the car for a business or for yourself? So they, they look at it in a different way. So um, even if it's the same owner, he's the same owner of the company, he's the same guy. No, but it doesn't make a difference. You know, uh, we have to do the calculation in a different way. So the final thing we're going to do in Chapter 3 is we have to get to reach this level. So a quiz will be about this one, for example, to do this table, okay? With all the transaction in them and we're going to see that at the end this is an actual equation uh, accounting equation so you can see that's all those columns one two three four five i mean it doesn't mean there's only five but, you know those five columns they equal those two columns if you add them up you add those up they end up with the same amount so now this is chapter three now let's say i want to go to chapter four Chapter four is going to be a transaction that affect assets, liability, and owner capital. Okay, so remember the equation. The equation we were talking about. We were saying assets equal liability plus owner equity. So now we have this is the equation itself: assets, liability, and owner owner capital. So assets are going to equal liability plus owner capital. Now first, there's two sections here: account. Accounts that uh, uh, and ah uh, yeah something called something called double entry accounting system. This is now where like I said we're going to more detail, so it's it's not going to happen here to explain all this. Applying rules for debit and credit. We're not talking about credit cards, by the way. It's not debit and credit credit cards. No, it's a debit and credit in in the sense of accounting. Maybe there's some kind of similar similarities, but not we're not talking about credit cards. I mean that's a typical typical typical. Uh, uh, you know, uh, knowledge that people say, you know what, I know debit and credit, that means credit. No, 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 and that, not, in this, not in this sense. Accounts, uh, so like I said, we're going to we're gonna introduce something called ledger. We're going to introduce something called chart of accounts. Uh, we have to introduce the names and the numbers. We give numbers also for, for them. Uh, not yeah, in, like in this kind of sense, for example. See, uh, cash in the back, we're going to give it an account number 101. It doesn't have to be 101. No, but it needs to start with a 1. But it could be one, 103, 105, uh, one, 1,000, 1 million. Uh, we need a 1 to start with. But it doesn't make a difference the numbers after that. But you have to keep stay, to keep with those numbers. So you cannot keep switching them in, in, the, in the business. Liability starts with a 2. Owner equity starts with a 3. Revenue starts with a 4. Expense starts with a 5. Okay, so when we talk about double entry, we're involving now debit and credit. This is a, a, what we call a, a T account. So you can see that there's a there's a, a side for each one. Of them. There's a debit side on the left, credit side on the right, and we have to stick with it. So we cannot just keep switching. Debit always on the left, right always uh, credit. And what else? Uh, ah, so we ha we have something called normal balance. So this is also we need to. This is going to take us more time. This chapter, it, it, it's uh, a, a lot of details in it, and you need to know that before you move to the next chapters. By the way, because every every other chapter depends on those ones. Okay, guys, that's will be it for this week, and we'll talk to you later. Bye bye.